guys, welcome to an Urban Viking Hell with you. Now then, this is going to be a beer from um, a brewery local to me. I've only really tried their Doom Bar and their Eden Project, which was really nice beers. Um, but I've, I've always had um, trouble finding this one, and I managed to find it. And it's um, from the Sharps Brewery, and it's their special. Lovely. Right, let's give you some info on this. It's a bottle conditioned beer, 5%. Um, it says Sharp Special is a classic beer with a formidable reputation. It is strong in alcohol, high in sweetness, and possesses a complexity worthy of its name. As a cask beer, it has inspired its own appreciation society, and often where it is stocked, it is preeminent on the bar, even when pitched against national brands. We thought if fitting now to bottle condition, this great beer. Sorry, hang on. We thought. Oh, sorry, we thought it fitting now to pop bottle condition this great beer and allow many more beer fans to try something truly special. Surf chilled. This bottle contains live yeast. Pour carefully. Haha. -ha. Okay. Sharps Brewery. .co.uk. Now then, I'm a big fan of Sharps. I like their Doom Bar. It's one of my fave beers. A lovely, lovely session ale. And I'm really looking forward to trying this one. I'll be using my um, lovely Allendale glass, which I've got. Plug, plug, plug. <laughs> Because the beer's the beer's not really nice in that glass, so right. Let's hope this um doesn't go off in my face. Okay, black cap. Let's get it poured. Okay, it's coming out pretty well actually. Um, I was expecting it to be um sort of foam uh similar to the summer skills, but ah, it's coming out good. Lovely. Lovely colour, um, nice little head on it. Lovely. Let's give it a nose. Let's give it a bit of a swirl. Right. Okay. I'm getting some nice um, sort of bready biscuity notes on that one. Quite sweet. I'm getting like a, almost like a, like a really warm in sort of kiwi sort of smell as well, which is quite nice. I've got to tell you something about that actually, that's just reminded me of something, sorry. Um, yeah, it's quite a malty, really sort of like heavy malty smell. Um, if this tastes like it smells, this is definitely one for the... Um, the old Chad, the, the albino rhino. I know he likes his multi beers. You could very well be getting a bottle of this, Chad. Right, okay. Let's give it a go. Cheers. That is really nice. I was expecting it to be really sort of... Um, oh, wow. Ah, I didn't expect that. I was expecting it to be quite bready and um, obviously like with a nose, quite biscuity and bready, which is something that tends to put me off. Um, you're getting a nice sort of smooth malty taste, which settles into a nice sort of like, you know, quite a level sort of bitterness. And then you sort of sit there and all of a sudden this grapefruit just goes, bing, it's hello, and it's like, whoa, where'd that come from? And it sort of stays on your tongue. Oh, that's really nice. I like that. Getting a bit of orange in that as well. Hmm. It's like a, um, a nice malty sort of orange. And then this sort of delay. And then the grapefruit pops up. There it is. It just pops up. <laughs> It's amazing how, this, how they do this sort of stuff. Um, I don't know whether they know this when they're brewing it, but there's no taste notes on here or anything like that. Just says contains malted barley. Um, I love the label on it. It's so unassuming as well. It's just like, you know, special. That's it. No fancy artwork. It's just special. And I can see why it's got a bit of a following because it's got a really unique flavour. Um... I've never seen this one in the pubs around near me. Um, I don't know if they do it on tap. I'm sure they do. Oh, got a bit of a head now. 
But yeah, it's a really nice colour. I don't know if that's is that unfiltered. It looks a bit well. It's bottle conditions just straight from cask, I suppose, isn't it? Let's give it a bit more of a of a, of a taste. The more you drink it, um, the more prominent uh, the grapefruit becomes. Um, whereby the first gulp, I tended to get a lot more of the malty sort of breadiness. Uh, then the grapefruit sort of kicked in. But then once you start settling into it and sessioning, you tend to get the grapefruit straight away, and it becomes almost like a a really nice sort of um, rustic um, IPA sort of flavour. Really, really nice. I really like that. Um, I'm, I'm going to have to hunt this one down, see if I can find it on tap. So I can imagine it being even lovelier. Um, lovely. Three beers I've tried from Sharps, and they've all been good. This being the third one. Lovely. Um, so, rating-wise, Sharp Special from me is going to get an 8.5 out of 10. That is a really nice beer. Um, any of my um, fellow reviewers who are watching this, and obviously the ones that I'll do beer mails with, etc., if, if there's any beers that you see me review and you can't get, let me know and I'll chuck it in a box for you. Um, anyway, sorry. Um, lovely stuff. Sharp's Brewery. Well done. I'm sure you know how good you are anyway, so you don't need me to tell you. But that's a really nice pint. I wish I had it a little bit colder actually. Um, it has only been in the fridge for about 20 minutes. Uh, I'm sure that would have brought out the bitterness even more. And I do love my bitter hops. So um, once again, thank you very much for watching the Urban Viking Hour Review. I really appreciate all the viewers and all the list, all the um, subscribers. Uh, I love I love answering the comments. It's great. Because um, when you get a passion about the beer, you get a passion about... The people who watch as well, you know, and it's it's really good stuff. It's um, like I said before, it is. It's like a really nice social club. Um, you get these great people, and they've got their own sort of like knowledge and um, you know, experience. And it, and I love it. I love what, uh, hearing how um, people have tried beers similar, or you know, why this tastes like this. And you know, it's all great because I'll, I'll try and retain as much of it as I can. Um, but anyway, yeah, I really, really, really enjoyed doing this. So, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for an Urban Viking Hour review. Cheers!